Hey there, Pokemon fans! Earl from Pokemon Awesome here! We've got more Let's Play Let's Go Pikachu! Last time, we took on Brock and earned our first gym badge. Then we trekked all the way up here to the entrance of Mount Moon, where there's a uh, Meowth uh, sleeping atop it. Now, where have we seen a Meowth before? Not counting the uh, coach trainer we just fought. Well, if we go inside... A pair of familiar faces. Search Father N. You were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? <laughs> Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. Rare fossils buried on here somewhere. Da, 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 yep. So there after the rare fossils. Alright. Well, it wouldn't be Mount Moon without all these Zubats flying around. In the meantime, we've got a potion right here. And Zubats. Don't know why it's giving us this uh, tutorial now. Eh. One, two, three. Get Ooh. Ooh, you. We go. All right. Two, three, done. All right, 43 experience. Gets Nidoran up to level 12. Get Horn Attack. Now, main problem with that is Horn Attack's 65 power, Headbutt 70. <laughs> it's just a little bit redundant. <laughs> All right. Been added to the party. Not that it matters because he's. Well, she is being swiftly taken off. Alright, I saw Judo down here. Let's go get him. I will say, I did use a golem throughout my Eevee playthrough. As it stands, it's one of the uh, two Pokemon in my uh, in-game team that I was able to beat the uh, the Master Trainer for. Uh, because the Golem Master Trainer has Dig instead of Earthquake, so you can just cheese it with Protect. Which I just found to be hilarious. said, I don't need you, dude, for this game. Gotta check these craters. Nothing in them. Now, unfortunately, trainers in these games have phenomenal lines of vision, so some fights are just unavoidable. He's got a Butterfree. So let's, um... Yeah, let's start using Headbutt. Boom. Confusion. That's... That's bad. That's really bad. I just noticed that that Butterfree is only level 7. I'm calling hacks. Gust. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Thundershock. Boom. Fried Butterfree. There we go. Gives a lot of experience, at least. Enough for Pikachu to get up to level 13. Uh, 
All right. Here we've got five great balls. Always nice. Haven't needed the chance to use those yet. See what Nitter ends up to. Oh, a drop of water fell down and startled it. <laughs> All right, another unavoidable trainer. That's Evelyn with Bellsprout. Okay. Can easily deal with this one. Headbutt. Using growth, not that matters, because it's going to be taken out next turn. And boom. Let's uh, go down the ladder here. Well, first we have to go through this uh, little scene with Jesse. All right. Zubat. All right, so we can actually avoid this, uh, whoa, that was close. <laughs> yeah, we can avoid the uh, rocket grunt in this area, because he likes to uh, spin around. There we go. Now if we check this little uh, crater here, we get a moonstone. This uh, replenishes itself every day, so similar to that uh, big pearl in the uh in pewter city you can come here every day to uh, pick up a moonstone speaking of moonstones this is gonna be a big ass clefairy yeah it wasn't all right nope that's not that that oh jesus all right there we go i was thrown it to the right. I don't know why it was going where it was where it was. Pokeball. Okay, I might switch to a great ball here. I've got 14 already. Nice. All right. Two, three. Got it. Now, I was originally planning on using a Clefairy slash Clefable in this uh, playthrough, but then I realized that there's a better, well, subjectively better fairy type that I'll be able to get uh, much, much later that I've never really had experience in using before. So we will get to that when we do. But uh, Clefairies are pretty common in this area compared to uh, previous games. And you can also find Wild Clefables down here in um, Mount Moon. I know I did back in Eevee. In any case, we got Paris here. It's the only place to find Paris. Excellent. Nice. Three. Ooh. Wasted my excellent throw. Wow. Yeah, that was bad. All right, I'll take a great. All right. Bonus 40 experience. Oops. All this experience is really nice. Hope I'll find an Onyx in here because 
He's a pretty rare spawn in Mountain Moon with the, these games. And it'd be nice to get an Onyx now compared to having to wait for a Rock Tunnel. Alright, let's um avoid these geodudes. And let's see. Yep, you're a spinner. I think you you just have a Voltorb to fight. Alright. Paris there. Youngster that we can safely ignore. Ether. Is this an escape rope? Nope, a repel. Almost, uh, nothing up around here. Got another trainer. Just one around. Got James. Here. Oh, nope, did not want to do that. I think that youngster we have to fight, but we'll get to that when we do. Alright, fucking Zubats. Okay. And here we have a nugget. So, more items to sell. Don't believe there's anything in this rock this time around, yeah. But we got another moonstone in this uh, little crevice here. Or crater, I should say. Yeah, look at that. Two cool fairies right here. Fairy is not rare anymore. But again, you can only find them in here, so... Oh, there's another one. Alright, yep, can't avoid the fight with this youngster, unfortunately. That's okay. Only has a sand shrew. Luckily, there's very few damaging ground type attacks in this game. Because my entire team is weak to ground right now. In fact, I think the only damaging ground type moves are Dig and Earthquake. Yeah, for those who don't know, uh, basically the move pool in uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee has been uh, dumbed down to the point where it only has all of the moves that were from the first generation, including a small handful of other moves from future generations. Uh, for example, uh, I, like I had mentioned uh, in the past, uh, Protect is one of them. Uh, there's also Crunch, uh, Outrage, Iron Tail, Flash Cannon, uh, Dark Pulse, Foul Play, Shadow Ball, uh, Moon Blast, Play Rough, Pretty much all a uh, decent chunk of moves to allow certain Pokemon to uh, be able to fight more effect effectively. Here we got a Pearl. Uh, Drill Run is another move that was uh, brought in here. All right, this gentleman here, if uh, you have only nine or less uh, Pokeballs, he'll give you ten Pokeballs for free. Uh, you can do that indefinitely. Uh, me, I have 61, so I don't need any extra Pokeballs. So let's um, just continue on. And here we have another Meowth. Or the same Meowth. And he's running off. Alright. Well, we didn't find the Onyx. Um, 
one last shot trying to find him, and that's in here. Before we do, we got this item here. Revive. Always nice to pick those up. There's another Clefairy. We got a uh, Rock Grunt. I think he spins. No. Doesn't look it. Alright, time to fight. Big job here. Get lost, kid. Blah, blah, blah. Team Rocket. Mm hmm. Team Rocket Grunt. Send out Drowsy. Uh, this could be bad. I doubt it has confusion. At level 9, yeah. Probably got Pound. Open mouth, insert foot. Eh, we're fast enough to make a killing blow here. And it's not like we got revives and potions. Okay. Medicine pocket potion. Heal up Nidoran. Oh, the Geo Dude. Got an item here. Potion. Alright. Sending me out to go get the fossils. <laughs> Just ignore them. Okay. Oh, did not see that Paris until the last second. <laughs> That's kind of the um, thing about th how wild encounters work in this game. You see them, you see them, so you can avoid them, but they can just pop up right in front of you without giving you a chance to move around them. And honestly, I prefer this style of um, finding wild Pokemon. Uh, if they were to keep anything from this game for Gen 8, I would definitely like to see this mechanic make a return. Uh, as long as the capturing mechanic goes back to the uh, good old days where you ha actually have to fight it, not like um, Pokemon Go. But, um, yeah... I definitely like seeing the uh, pre-existing encounters on the field. A lot of uh, JRPGs have been doing that recently. It lets you strategically uh, move around areas, especially caves like caves like this. If uh, this was like the old days, we'd still be back in the um, that first floor area when we first entered Mount Moon. What well, with all the encounters we'd we'd have. Alright, so, final thing is the super nerd here with these fossils. Someone's playing Monster Hunter. Saber. Alright, Voltorb. So glad that they uh, removed abilities for this game so I can attack these electric types without fear of static. Light screen, that's not going to do much against my physical moves. Like so. Thundershock. Alright. And let's finish it off with the poison sting. go. I believe he has a Magnemite as well, if not a Grimer. Nope, it's Magnemite. Alright, let's uh, get Pikachu in here for this one. It's been a while since he's seen some action. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 
Luckily, we have double kick to uh, deal with this uh, steel type. So one and two. Not all the way though. Interesting. Uh, supersonic. He actually hit that. Did they buff supersonic accuracy? I don't think so. They buff like all the other. Um. That's my turn of thought just now. Oh well, wasn't that couldn't have been that important. <laughs> All right, level fourteen. All right, so uh, fossil we're gonna take. Obviously, we're going for Lord Helix. Definitely want to heal up Nidoran because I know what's coming. Eh, that's good enough. And now it's time to <laughs> fight the awesome couple. No. <laughs> well, tech. I mean, technically, yeah, Jesse and James. <laughs> Jamie and Jess? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Atkins and coughing as usual. So, um, we're low on headbutts, but you know what? It's fine. Thundershock on Ekans. Ekans is the um, usually the uh, bigger problem of the two because of that. He can hit both of us. Well, now I think about it, coughing does have poison gas, which honestly would only affect Pikachu in the long run. All right, um, should be. Ekans taken out. Yep. Headbutt and <laughs> this should be able to take out coughing. No, doesn't look it. Yeah, wow. Well, we got the flinch at least. That's good. All right, there we go. Go and <laughs> I love that image of James. Just just that expression. <laughs> also, I do like the fact that they have James with uh, his rose. He never has that anymore. <laughs> oh, that look on Pikachu's face. Go ahead and um, make our Pikachu love us. There we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No Onyx in in the area. Interesting. Uh. Yep. Nothing else here. Up here, we got this item, or items, I should say. Um, actually, I think there's something down over here. Yep. 
Paralyze Heal. And as I thought, everyone's going to run to these bushes for an Anab Berry. can't get that Pokeball up there just yet, but we can get this one right here. It's another Repel. Alright, nothing else around here. Believe... Yeah. However, we got a new wild Pokemon here. Minky. So, yeah, let's uh, just catch him, add him to the decks. Three. Oof. Ooh, got an excellent. Nice. Got him. That's going to be some nice uh, experience. 65. Alright. This is our second um, Pokemon that's exclusive to uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, Sandshrew being the first. And I believe there's another Pokemon available in this area, but it's uh, kind of a rare-ish encounter. We've seen more of them in the future, so it's not that big of a deal. And here we are at Cer <laughs> Voice crack, jeez. Here we are at Cerulean City. And we got a uh, fountain to check out here. Throw money in the fountain? Yeah, let's throw 500. I mean, if I can burn 500 bucks for a friggin' Magikarp, I can burn 500 for a fountain. Alright, and Nidoran is going to get the attention of the fountain. Nidoran seems pleased looking at the fountain. So heal up here. Oh, <laughs> I completely forgot Mickey is still in the party. <laughs> Jeez, I'm really <laughs> sleeping on the job. Alright, let's get Mickey out of the party because we do not need Mankey. But I believe Mankey actually gives us our 30th? No. He's doing to get six more for 30 Pokemon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I almost forgot about you, good sir. Teach me Zippy Zap, please. Zippy Zap. Attacks tar target with burst electricity at high speed. Always goes first and results in critical hit. Holy crap, this move is busted. It's basically extreme speed with instant crit. It, it, it's extreme speed and, was it, frost breath or circle throw? Molded into one. That is insane. All right, let's see. I think we can get the Bulbasaur, though. Da -da. If Kylie's there, yeah. Gonna get 30 Pokemon. So we're six shy of being able to claim Bulbasaur here. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll get those six Pokemon relatively soon. One thing I do want to check out is... 
How the hell did the Sonics get in this building? I was stopped when I tried to enter a Pokemart with my dear Onyxy. That was utterly unnecessary. My Onyxy is such a good boy that it goes into its Pokeball in a tight space even without being asked. <laughs> yeah, um... <laughs> Onyx is so big you can barely see his head. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Yeah, that's... Pretty much it for today, I guess. Um... I don't want to do the gym just yet. And there's everything up north that we got to take care of as well. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And don't forget the code down below, or rather, the code YouTube10 for 10% off all purchases of $20 or more at PokemonAwesome.com. Until then, we'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.